Okay, so this is a deep bed paper filter. And uh, it's just a pilot unit to uh, give us an idea of how the full size unit will work. Uh, this model was designed by Leon Kuznick. And um, I have some uh, some wastewater from a, a cosmetic factory, and uh, they're having some issues. And uh, we're gonna give this a shot. We have some uh, uh, clay product from Wyo Bend, and we're gonna see how that does breaking the uh, the wastewater down and separating the solids out of it. I don't know where my my plate is for my camera so I can't connect it to a tripod so uh, I'm gonna have to make do with what I've got going on today so uh, you have to bear with me. So this is our sample of Wild Ben. This is a, a bentonite clay uh, mixture I guess. I'm not exactly sure what the uh, what uh, the mixture is. I know I think it's anywhere from 80 to 90 percent just bentonite clay mixed with, uh, I think he uh, said it was soda ash, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. It's a pretty simple compound, though. And uh, worked pretty good yesterday on the sample we had, so uh, we'll uh, take a look and see, uh, see if it works on the fresh sample that I collected today. So here's uh, what we're dealing with. This is a uh, pretty typical of what we've been getting. It's a uh, this one actually has a lot of uh, particles already floating in it, but usually it's pretty uh, colloidal in nature. Just you know, it doesn't really settle out. This one, I don't know, must have been something with whatever they were cleaning. You know, got a lot of a lot of particles floating around in it. But uh, it's pretty nasty stuff, and the pH has been variable. Uh, anywhere between, you know, uh, we've seen eight and a half all the way up to eleven and a half. I guess just depending on whatever process they're using or whatever cleaner they happen to be using that day. So uh, I'm gonna check the pH on this and see what we're working with today. All right, let's see what we got here. Not bad at all. It's actually pretty low. So we're at 8.3. But uh, just a quick rundown on how this uh, this works. Uh, we've got our tank up here. This is our mixing tank right here. Let me zoom out a little bit. This is really tough without uh on my tripod here, but we'll see what we can do. This is the mixing tank right here. This is where our, uh, we're going to add the bentonite clay up up in here. It's got a mixer see right there. Our mixing controls are right here. Uh, I guess how this would typically we're just going to add the, the bentonite by hand, but. From what I understand, it'll be some type of auger system that uh, dispenses, you know, a set amount in a certain dosage. Uh, what we've got here, this is the bypass, the bypass uh, where the sludge will sit once it's separated. It pretty much decant from the top, and then a lower one bypass this. Otherwise, it would probably get blocked up. And then at the end, we uh, we open this valve. Our sludge will come out onto uh, this paper, this paper filter. The water will drain through here and empty out through here. Now, uh, this is a, a simplified version, but it uh, it's going to give us the gist of how this is going to work. Pretty simple process, but uh, from what we've seen so far, very effective. All right, so I've got a. Uh, our mixing tank up top. I put about uh, four and a half gallons in here. Now uh, 
It'll plug it in, turn the mixer on. Alright, so here's our mixer control. Uh, we've got it on two. That should be alright. There we go. Now I'll look up here, see what kind of turbulence we're getting, and adjust it accordingly. Uh, got decent mixing right now. Starting to form a vortex. Let's see if I can focus that a little better. Not really focusing. Hold on. There we go. Got a nice vortex going there. I like to turn it up just a little bit. Turn it up to about a little bit past two. About two and a half. See how that looks. <laughs> That's perfect. Now we're just about ready to add our uh, our Wyoben clay mixture. All right, this is pretty tough here to uh, to dose this and film at the same time. So. best I can here. We ended about, see we're still trying to figure out the dosage so this isn't precise right now. I know that that uh, this particular product likes to get uh, mixed pretty thoroughly. So I'm just going to go ahead and crank that up a little bit to almost three, two point eight, right about there. And there you go. You see, it's, uh, it's already starting to flock. Particles are dropping out. Just gotta get a flashlight here, real quick. So here it is. Particles dropping right out, real nice. Get that mix a little bit more. Beautiful. Very impressive. No pH adjustment. Pretty much does it itself. off and let's see what goes on up here. Yeah, it's nice broken up. Nice flock. Got yeah, nice clear water. And those solids are gonna drop right out. They're actually floating today. That's different than uh, what we saw yesterday. But then again, we used a the uh, pH was a little bit higher yesterday. Still impressive how clear the water is around these solids. So uh, we're gonna start to filter this down now. See uh, what it looks like at the end. It's actually it looks like they've all floated. True is what you'd. Uh, normally see with a, a DAF unit, but which makes me think uh, 
Judging by this, I would say the smart thing to do would be to camp from the bottom. So let's just uh, let's go with that. And that's why this is a trial. So I'll just crack it open. There's a little bit of sludge in the bottom there, but right now that's basically just clear water going through there. Probably open this valve a little bit too. Move it a little faster. It says open that way. Oh, that's a lie. It goes that way. See now this is, uh, just because this is a pilot unit, uh, paper will probably be a little thicker in the real unit, and it'll be longer, fit a little bit better around here. You don't want to go up over the edges, but that water is nice and clear coming out of there. There's clear water running right on there. Yeah, keep that in there. Check the pH on that. Which is a little low, 5.2. So I guess that's pretty typical with what we saw yesterday. I brought it from a 10.4 to a, a 7.4. Today was, I think it was at 8.5. Now we're down to a 5, so it drops it pretty good. I guess that's uh, giving us uh, some clues as to uh, the dosage here and what uh, what will work, or where exactly we're supposed to be with that. Now we're getting to the top where the sludge was. And now it's starting to come out of there. Okay, I'm going to do a little uh, self-indexing here. Move this ahead. This is starting to get plugged up a little bit. Which is what the machine would do on its own. So then this will keep dewatering. We got new filter paper here. Catch more of this. Let's get the rest of this sludge out of here. There's all that good stuff. There's our, uh, there's all the solids pretty much out of there. I see it's, uh, it's a little snotty, but I think that's probably because we, uh, 
might have overdosed it a little bit with the bentonite, but this pretty much sits on the filter paper, continues to to dewater in our nice clean water. It's down in here. And that's pretty much the entire process, and then it should pretty much keep feeding itself, but what I did is I just rolled it up here. Here's uh, what we had from yesterday. That's nice and dry. I could probably, you know, a little extra clay or kitty litter or something in the dumpster would probably suck the rest of the moisture right out of it. And you've got a, a safe disposable byproduct. So uh, I think this is going to work out pretty well. I'm pleased with it. And the tank doesn't look too bad, but you know the continuous flow of water through there should uh, should take care of that. But that's it. That is uh, the gist of the uh, deep bed paper filter. And again, this was designed by Leon Kuznick, and the product we used was Wyo Benz. I think it was. 2150 might be the name of the product. Uh, I'm not exactly certain of the number. Where do I have that? Uh, 2055, and that's just a bentonite clay pro uh, product. And uh, there you have it.